thing with the volcano and all that, why are you still here? Because I love the volcano. I'm here because of the volcano, because it's fun, and if it isn't fun, don't do it. <laughs> I would quit, right? It wasn't fun. So, uh, uh, that's why we came here. Fire, all the elements, the wind, the air, the earth, the sea, the water, all the elements dancing together. And if without the fire, the word, word, that's the passion, that's, what's, that's what not all, and it's the creative force. That's, hey, if we're gonna honor our, the mother and the earth, this is it, it's right here, recreating itself, and it was created by Chutupeli and all the volcanoes around the world. And then Iyaka, the sister of Iyaka, spreads the, the life, you know, like the greenery. So it's perfect, something creating, something destroying, of course, changing, and Iyaka adding all the, the, the abundance, that which nurtures us, the Aina. Is there anything that frightens me about the volcano? This videoing of people, obtrusive videoing is terribly frightening. <laughs> Other than that, I think it's very important to be careful. Um, so if I feel like it's too boggy at the ocean, or if I feel too boggy here, I go into. I closed up a, the other cottage completely the other day. So, um, climbed up on and put plastic around that screen that's up around the upper edge, um, and slept there last night, and that seemed to be working pretty good. Um, so um, if Minnie Hooney needs it, I'll take Minnie Hooney over there too. Um, so I think it's the the aspect of. It's just that fear, guilt, and shame are really like overdone. And uh, it's great to be as much as possible free of those, free of the inculcated fear, guilt, and shame, and really aware of you know, what's, really, what's really important in terms of uh, fear. When, when is it necessary to be afraid, and, and how does one protect one? I mean, a lot of people, are, I know, don't even swim in the ocean, but the chance of getting bitten by a shark is like one in a billion or something. And um, the sharks that I've seen in my time on the ocean, like this whale shark, are. Um, totally peaceful and wonderful to swim with. So I'm, I'm painting, saying, doing, being what I love. And so that's why we have Opii Kao up here. I oh, know that's a Kopoiki. And here you have Opii Kao. And these are all based on hula that um, Puna Kali'iho Amalu created the Meli, honoring this, all the beauty and abundance and wonder of this coast. And uh, then Kuwani or Hula Kumu had a dream that Puna wanted them to choreograph them, and so inspired me to also paint them. So, because I love this area, and so and this Kalani, this Kalani Hono experience, it's uh, it's really a dance of heaven and earth. A little hell on every now and then, and then, you know Pele can kind of give us a little aspect out of that, and so can people. People can reflect the, the eruptive energy of Pele. I've seen it many times, and um, and to uh, stay calm and mellow through all of this is, uh, I think, not essential. I mean, I think it's good to be active and powerful with all this, but I think it's also great to have to observe it and see it as a awesome, entertaining play of life. What would you like people out there in the world to know about what's happening right here, right now? I feel that uh, I think it's most important is that people realize that uh, people here are pulling together and, and sticking with the land and the nature and also supporting and helping one another in various ways. Um, and that they should know that Yes, it's, it's, uh, nature is amazing and intense and we love it. The, the fierce, fearful will flee necessarily and the adventuresome will arrive. Um, and yet be careful if you're adventuring here to um, play it safely and legally and, and uh, respect all the people that are here. Um, and respect most deeply this awesome culture that just embraces all these elements, these gods and goddesses. and um, says, hey, this is, this is life, it's life amplified. And what's amazing about it, I think the root of the Aloha spirit and the root of Ohana, extended family, is really in the fact that this is so, such a vibrant environment, but it's also really a pretty tame environment. It's, pretty, it's not a, a volcano that's gonna rip up everything apart like Vesuvius or Mount St. Helens, 
And, uh, and the weather just is really quite pleasant, generally. We might get a, har a hurricane or a, you know, a hail, not a hail, but a thunderstorm or whatever, a uh, tidal wave every now and then, or earthquake, we've had some of those. It's all dancing, but it's not like, it's not doing kickboxing, or it's, not, it's dancing. It's uh, an awesome hula. Um, and it's very based in the culture to celebrate it and honor it and appreciate it and love it. Uh, well, it came in 1972, 73, the Shia Maui. Then by 74, three, we were already here based in Hilo, Ernest and I, and our dear friend Bill. And we, together in 75, we built the first cottage at uh, the front of Kalani, you know, which is treehouse number 10 now, which I exchanged to Kalani exchange for and built this and uh, so that I can live here and be here in this home and create this creative space, this sort of the museum of, of with dear other dear artists like Arthur and other mm. several many ar other artists are represented up here and uh, have this space and curate it uh, while that other space that we built together was it became Trio Summer 10 which is one of uh, the prime earners for Kalani Honua, the nonprofit. I chose Puna because this is where that dance of the elements is happening. And this is the source. Puna means a spring or source. So I think this is a great place for people to connect with their source and to connect with the source of life. To go deeply into Eho Mai with connecting with the core of the earth, the energy of Pele, the, the spirit of Auntie Edith Kanaka Oli and, and uh, the um, Kali'iho Malo, the people that have been living here a long time. Auntie Edith, who shared with me this chant, and then in, um, and and I also think it's a great place in this place of the source to really radiate uh, that energy, that uh, welcoming and aloha and family extended lay of aloha love around the planet, and to the connect with our amaku, our guiding spirits, uh, the owl, the hawk, the sea turtle, the dolphin, the whale. Our logo being the total, the hawk and the turtle, our um, good. Uh, symbols for that, that harmony of heaven and earth that this Pune district is, uh, really gives us a deep connection with because it is so connected with the core of the earth and with the sky and the heavens and the, and the whole jewels in the, throughout the universe. So, uh, and this is um, swimming uh, as I was one day at the Kahana Beach. I was swimming and towards the rock on the left and which we call Tahiti. And so I swim on my back, I turned over, and there was a whale shark underneath me. And there's a whole group of uh, kule and uh, other fish that, um, and these are flying fish, actually, the ma malolo, flying fish. They're just, malolo means crazy, so they're just crazily flying around. So they're just flying in that whole energy while, while he's doing the um, butterfly. So I like this kind of chaotic wave action, and I like that, that there's a sort of a breeze of air flowing through here from the trade winds and so that's what's going on with that and these like I accent these little crests everywhere and then uh, along his back the the, the um, doing he's doing the uh, butterfly while the the whale shark underneath him of course is doing this uh, swimming peacefully as they do and then these uh, fly fish these um, flying fish malolos are doing their own little dance, they're dancing in all the action of the waves and the, and the power of the surge created by the whale and by the, by the swimmer. So I feel they're all just kind of dancing in harmony with one another and I just want to keep adding and creating that harmony, bringing out some of the brightness and the red of these tones and, um, and I think I'm going to work with um, bringing all these waves into more of a, a Japanese pattern of order of three and, you know, and the pattern of order that sweeps down and then sweeps back up again. So that creates kind of a, a global feeling of just all this is being all within the great big circle of life. The butterfly, your, your, your arms go up and out, so that I'm accenting the whites on these here and in the back, and then on the sides here, the splashing action, because the knees go down and under, the feet are coming up, and the knees are bent, and so that creates all this surge. It goes off this way, and so I'm adding this surge off to the side.